Ever wondered why your final renders over 3D print models looks very dull and boring compared to some dope looking renders you see on the internet? You somehow wish that your model should also look like this without having them UV mapped and textured. Well, I found that having a curvature mask on your models can quickly make them attractive compared to normal rendering. The curvature mask look for any plane changes and somehow create a fake ambient occlusion onto the model, making those details pop out more. But how to add a curvature mask? Using just a few nodes, you can instantly create a curvature mask without UV mapping or texturing your models. You can quickly add this curvature mask and render them. It is a very fast method to quickly get the job done if you are making the models for a 3D print. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So first things first, you have to prepare the scene. I have added some lights already onto the model and positioned my camera properly. If you haven't already, switch to Cycles. I found this method works best in Cycles render engine. Model does not have to be UV mapped, so select it. I will turn on the overlays quickly and give it a new material. I will go to the shading tab and will duplicate the principal BSDF. I will turn on the viewport shading. I will change the color of the model into a warmer one. Maybe turn down a value little bit. And for the other shader, I will make it really dark because we will use this shader as our curve mask. I will add a mix shader. We will plug first BSDF on the first slot and the other one onto the second slot. Now watch carefully, this is an important part. I will add a mixed color node and plug it on the factor slot on the mix shader. I will add two RGB nodes now. We will plug it on the A and B slot. RGB on slot A, I will turn it completely white and on the other, the complete black. I will turn on the viewport render to see where we are at. I will add a color ramp now. This will create a curvature map by using it and we will adjust the intensity of it by using it. I will connect the color socket to the factor and finally I will add a geometry node. This node will recognize the mesh and see where those bevel and sharp edges are and will help color ramp to create the curvature mask. I will connect the pointiness to the factor of the color ramp. Now see the magic. If I move the black slider to the middle and move this white slider to the middle as well, it will start creating the curvature mask. The closer these two sliders are, the sharper the mask gets. Now if I undo and move the slider to its original position, the mask is gone. See the difference? With just a curvature node, your model can pop out more. The presentation matters. If your render is good, it could attract potential clients, either if it's your portfolio or if you are selling these models on a 3D marketplace. To make it more interesting, you can give it subsurface scattering. Normally, I don't go over 0.2. I will change the radius of the most top slider to 1.2, which is a red one. It will create more red during scattering. And I will change the type to random box skin. This is a personal preference. I find subscattering very useful for this type of renders. They just help with the edges going bright. I have tested this method with other models as well and it was great each time. You can try it with different colors, just experiment with it. Using a curvature mask on the model is a great way to quickly add an interesting aspect to the model without the need of UV mapping or texturing it. You can just use high poly decimated model if you want it and it will work every time. And this is how I render my models for 3D print models. And guys that's it. If you have found this video helpful, please share it with the others and do subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Until next time, peace.